<laughs> Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. You may notice something different about the setup. Yes, the little pigeon, chicken, feathery, dark women lamps are... Well, they've gone to live on the farm. No, they haven't. <laughs> They haven't gone to live on the farm, but they have gone into hibernation for a short while until I have my brand new setup when I move and find a way to incorporate them back into my lifestyle, girls. But please say hello and welcome to the new lamps. Uh, these are Hugh Signies, which sounds a little bit like Signet, which is an excellent segue into baby swans because today it's another episode of That's the One, girls. So, my lovelies, an interesting development has happened since I did the last episode of The Swan. So, Laurie's son got in contact via the comments on that video, and Laurie herself actually commented on that video as well. So, I want to say a huge thank you for them for sharing a little bit extra of their stories. I will pop that in the Where Are They Now at the end of this series. Interestingly enough, another contestant called Marsha actually dropped me an email explaining like her whole experience with The Swan program as well. Now, I don't know which episode Marsha is in, I assume it's coming up because I don't think we've come across her so far. I just want to say that today is episode four, which means we're, I think we're like halfway through this series, which is a little bit like bonkers really, because it feels like it's happening so fast for some reason. Ugh. So my lovelies, with trepidation and like nervousness and sort of excitement, let's get on and watch today's episode of The Swan Girls. Season two, episode four. Right, in go the, oh hang on, oh, that was the wrong one, for goodness sake. Come on, like Sarah, how long have you done this for? for Goodness sake, girls. And if you're wondering where my hoodie is from, it is by Manier d'Ivoire. And it makes me feel like necromancer, but also sporty. Like a sporty necromancer. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Let's watch The Swan, girls. Tonight on a special edition of The Swan. You're going to be a swan. <gasps> two sisters try out for The Swan, but only one makes the cut. Oh, what? Or so she thinks. Your sister's going to be a swan. And so are you, Gina. What? You're going to be a swan. <laughs> Does she know? No, it's a secret. <laughs> I'm going to be a swan. <laughs> oh, my God. For the first time, two sisters will go through the swan program. Hey, are these girls... I'm, wait, wait, wait. I didn't think that this show could get more and more dramatic, more and more like bong diddly onxious girl. So there's two sisters are gonna go through the swan together, like, but they don't know each other as the swan. Like, oh, you're a swan. Oh, oh my goodness. Sopping gussets, girl. Gonna be able to recognize each other. But only one will join Jennifer Patton from week one, Gina Davis from week two, and Gina Erica go. Moore from week Erica, three. Go to take spot number four in the swan pageant. Yes, it's you halfway. You their incredible transformations tonight on a special edition of the swan. Oh, my Good God. Good evening, What's I'm Amanda Barham and welcome to... What's this? It's like a horror set up like, oh, it was Amanda in the library with a book about the swan girls. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Smack. So, so much has just happened. How many seconds are we in? 58 seconds in and so much has happened. Right, okay, let me digest for a second. So, a shocking twist of fate sends two sisters to become a swan. That sounds very much like the plot of a, like a children's book or something, doesn't it? Like one sister went off to be a swan and the other didn't know. So she became a swan too. Very The Brothers Grimm, isn't it? <laughs> Aren't you clever? Thank you. It's been brilliant. Right, so here we are. I feel like this looks completely different. Is this does it, does this setup look completely different? I don't ever remember them being like curtains behind the the swan logo and there's like a chaise lounge and this spotlight of just like Amanda. I oh I'm quite interested what she's wearing this week. Look, I like this like high neck spike situation. That's an unusual car. I don't even know what that cut of dress is called. Let's have a all right, Amanda, let's go. To a special edition of the <gasps> sequin. Now on each episode of our programme, two women undergo radical transformations and compete for a spot in the pageant. Tonight for the first I just want to say, I just want to say, there's been an influx of people recently being like, But you hate cosmetics, so you've had cosmetic surgery, how can you say you hate it? And I just want to say, I do not hate cosmetic surgery. I am pro plastic and cosmetic surgery. What I am against is pitting women against each other to lose and feel worse at the end of it because they didn't make it to a pageant. Do you know what I mean? That's where the problem lies. The problem lies in reality TV. It doesn't rely on getting surgery, my loves. It's time we bring you two sisters on a show that takes the term sibling rivalry to a whole new level. Oh, for God's two sake. Two sisters, two amazing stories, and one of them doesn't know that the other is a part of the Swan program. It's a surprise like no other as we get one step closer oh. in the quest to crown the, the Swan. Bannister. Oh, go on. <gasps> I feel robbed. 
Oh, that was a bit much, wasn't it? She didn't tickle the banister. She didn't caress the banister. The banister was not caressed. There were no banisters caressed in the making of this film. <laughs> Team of experts go, implant, fitness, cosmetic, amazing transformation. <gasps> one swan. That's the one girl. Rachel, the swan. The swan. The swan girl. Good evening, right, panel of experts. Ooh, what's now, this? tonight, for the first time, we have two sisters competing in the Swan program. Yes. Jabro, do you understand the word sister? Yes. Oh, I could make a James Charles joke there, but I'm absolutely not going to do that, am I? Hmm. Let's start off by surprising the younger sister, Carrie. Now, bear in mind Carrie. that she has absolutely no idea that her older sister oh. will also be selected. Oh. Watch this. Oh. Dr. Hayworth is like, yes! Placenta. My the one that told me about the... Placenta? Is there a place in America called... Let me go back. Placenta. And care provide. Placentia. Placentia? My sister's the one that told me about the audition. She's my sister, my best friend. And as sisters, we tried out together. Carrie goes. I have a surprise for you. You're going to be a swan. No. What, what about my... What was the... What was the little, like... Why did they put... Why did they put a cut here? Have a look at this. Why did they cut it here? I have a surprise for you. Why did they do a... Why did they do a cut there? Why did they do a transition cut there? That's so weird. And the noise of like, boom, as if like time has passed or something. But she's clearly like, she knows what's happening. You're in her front garden. She's leaving the house and she's like, <gasps> Not a swan, girls. I kind of loved like the little bits of like acting in this because it's so sweet. I do like that. That is quite sweet, I suppose. You're going to be a swan. No. What about my sister? If she doesn't want me to do it, I can't do this. Oh, without her. goodness. I need to know that she's okay with it. I know that my sister hasn't been chosen, and I have. Oh, the drama thickens. Oh. I'm so proud of you. From the very beginning, I wanted it for both of us. You go there and you kick butt. And I don't want my hurt. Gina, go! Because I want her to be happy. Oh. Anything I've ever done, big or small, if she didn't do it with me, She's there talking me through it. It's oh, going to be hard. Lovely. It's going to be very hard. Don't you just love like supportive sisters? I swear there's just something so like gorgeous about that. I've never had that experience, but it is such a like, I don't know. I look at like, I know that like not every sisterhood is like supportive because some of your older sisters have been tormenting you, my loves. But it just seems like such a like lovely bond. And I sort of wish I could partake in that, but I suppose I'll just have to have Roly, won't I? And that's the Darjeeling. So the plot is thickening. Carrie thinks that Gina knows, but she doesn't know, but she does. No, wait, that's not it. Let's continue. When I first started high school, everything was great. I was very active. Gorgeous. I was a dancer and a cheerleader, and I was happy with myself mm. and how I looked. All of a sudden, I show up my sophomore year as this woman. I was 16 years old with double D. Oh my God, did we need, oh, for goodness sake, did we need this shot? She could have just said, I showed up as a woman and I had, you know, large breasts. We didn't need this uh, almost like an upskirt shot of your bosoms. Like, how dehumanizing is that? Like, she's just saying that she's like, oh, it's a bit of like a thing. And they're like, mm -hmm. make it more of a thing. Production is so wheezy. What a wheezy little weasel. Although weasels are actually quite pleasant. Bosoms. And it ruins everything. Dancers aren't built this way. So I had to drop out of a lot of things. <gasps> it's something that you love and it's like being taken away from you and you can't control it. I do find it like really heartbreaking that there is. Sorry, if you could hear that, suddenly there was like a, a robotic machine reversing outside going like beep. Beep, my favourite rave song. I do actually want to say that it is really quite sad that um, there are just some industries that are like, no, what do you mean you have a body type that's slightly different to what we used to? You'll never have a career in this academy. I do hate that. I absolutely hate that. I think that... It's such a lot. Like, if people want to do it, what is the harm in doing it? What is the harm in involving more people? What is it? Like, oh, it's so it's so frustrating because I have felt excluded from things that I've really wanted to do on the basis of my body type, on the basis because of my history. Just, it's just so like, but I really wanted to. And you're telling me that I can't do this because you're just gatekeeping. That's all it is. Boils my piss, girls. Um, the number one thing that made Carrie insecure as a teenager was her breasts. Carrie is definitely isolating herself because of her insecurities and uses me, I think, Wait. as a crutch to lean on. Is that her mom and I share an office? Yeah. It's a little box. 
desk. It's just my desk and her desk. Oh, look. Look how, like, early 2000s this is. Look at that computer monitor. Oh, some of you Gen Zs and Gen Alphas don't even know what that is, do you? A CRT monitor which flickered like this and you had to kind of, like, perform a ritual and hope that it would connect to your computer in the morning. I like to work outdoors. She's doing an unboxing video. Work with dancers or cheerleaders. Or... But <sighs> because my chest is so big, it hurts my back. It gives me headaches. I physically can't. Can you stroke this whilst looking at the time? I gained a lot of weight, and that makes you feel worse about yourself. Oh, being there, And it really sis. ruins how I feel about but... my body. I want to start over, and I want to be comfortable mm -hmm. and uplifting, healthy. Uplifting man with guitar music. And I know that being a swan can do that. Well, that's debatable. Being a swan will make the outside look nice. Hey, well, but will it actually help? I assume you'll be performing a breast reduction on her. Disproportionately large breasts can negatively impact upon a woman's self-confidence, and Carrie is no exception to that rule. Okay, that single sentence that he said there is probably the one time that I'm going to be like, actually, that's quite good. Yeah, you've said something very much that's like appropriate for people to hear who want to have a breast reduction. But a breast reduction brow lift combo is not necessary, girls. Not a two for one. <laughs> Time for a brow lift. Oh. She needs total body liposuction, and total. hopefully this will jumpstart her total transformation. I immediately regret complimenting Dr. Hayworth because total body liposuction, total body liposuction. What would really benefit her is if you got her a coach for a year that helped her with her nutrition and an exercise routine that would make her feel alive, girls. Someone that could easily hold her accountable, be a mentor, but also play a supportive role, which is something you kind of need when you're going through a new fitness routine. Full body liposuction, get in the arga. Hello. She's got a lot of interesting she work that needs to be done on her face. What do you mean? Including endoscopic brow lift, I perform a rhinoplasty on her and we have to excavate her beauty and bring it to the surface. Oh, excavate your own pussy hole, Dr. Hayworth. Right, so let's think about what they've just said. She needs an endoscopic, like, let's go back and look at her face here. Now, if she was a client that came to me and wanted to sit in my makeup chair and have like a fun piece of makeup done for her. So she has a fold in her eyelid, which makes anything like graphic liner or anything that's like big and bold, kind of a little bit difficult. So keep everything narrow and upswing. A little bit of wing at the outside, maybe even like a little tiny bit of like adult style glitter. A little bit of a red lip with this blonde blonde hair, like curl it out like that, she will feel like an instant bombshell. Little bit of bronzer, little bit of blush, maybe a tiny little bit of highlight here on the nose. Doesn't even really need contouring. Absolutely stunning. And because she's wearing glasses, maybe give her a nice upswing pair of glasses. Instant fashion icon. But no, she needs a brow lift and full body liposuction, of course. And Debbie? She's not gonna have her sister and her mother, so I'm hoping that she's gonna find that strength within her. Put them in a box and throw them away? Herself, because I'm gonna need her in the gym six days a week and working hard, because she's got a lot of weight to lose in a small amount of time. Dr. Yanni? And that that's not good. That's, how could anyone say that and be like, this is a really well-rounded opinion that I have formed? No, a lot of weight loss in a short amount of time leads to a destabilized homeostasis, which means that you'll have things like increased cravings. Your body will go through several different types of inflammatory responses, which may lead you actually to putting on more weight in the end. So let's not, let's, let's not beat around the bush here. I'm absolutely not here for short-term fast weight loss. It is not sustainable for your body and it should and it's not sustainable for your mental health you'll become like a horrible person and everyone around you'll be like will you stop being so grumpy and angry all the time and you'll be like no I'm and that's what you'll do so always be prepared that weight loss is a long journey but it's a journey that takes multiple little stops along the way as well it takes views in of the vista it pops to little shops and has a peruse like you're here for a long time don't fuss too much about it. Set a reasonable, achievable goal and the, and the weight will fall off. And more importantly, it will stay off if you want to lose it. Dr. Yanni? This is a huge step for her to be independent and separate instead of being enmeshed with both her mother and her sister. Oh, is this they the storyline they're going for? place of being independently confident and getting a sense of autonomy. Well, Carrie said she... I didn't really get a sense that she didn't have a sense of autonomy there, did you? I mean, I've only seen her for like eight seconds, so maybe there is, but let's see. Well, Carrie said she desperately wants to start over. Do you think we can help oh, her? absolutely. Definitely. Let's yes. review her plan. Right, okay, come on then. Carrie's swan plan will begin with a nose job, brow lift, lower eye lift, lip augmentation, liposuction to her cheeks and chin, and LASIK eye surgery. 
But her body shall... I must admit, this show keeps making me think about doing liposuction for my cheeks. Like, whenever I smile, I've just got all this, like, chub here, and I'd like, just a little bit of reduction. Just a little bit. Just a little, little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. Bit more of a flatter profile. I would love that. So, mm, if you see me on the swan, girls. For her body, she'll have breast reduction and liposuction in seven different areas. Ah, <gasps> seven. Carrie's dental plan will include gum tissue recontouring, bleach... I want your gum tissue. Da Vinci veneers and deep cleaning. Oh, for goodness for sake. her fitness transformation, Carrie will spend two hours a day, six days a week at the gym, focusing on weight training to define her body and cardio to help her lose weight. Okay. A 1200 calorie a day diet will help boost her metabolism. No. To help Carrie build. How will a 1200 calorie day diet boost metabolism? That's such a myth. What you taught, you have a metabolism. So there are different sorts of medicine that you can take to boost metabolism. But metabolism is such an odd, like, in back in like 20 years ago, almost, 18 years ago, let's just say, it was such like a, a sort of almost not really a new science, but a science that hadn't really like explored all of the metabolic pathways in the body. So the idea that they're saying that like diet restriction increases metabolism isn't strictly true. Not in this case anyway. It can induce starvation. To help Carrie build her self-esteem and learn how to become an independent person, okay, she will undergo weekly therapy and coaching. Oh, weekly. Okay then, it's time to let Carrie's sister in on the surprise that she has also been selected for the Swan program. All right, here we go. Surprise. And remember, Carrie has Gouts. absolutely no idea that while she's driving away, her sister Gina is going to be given the news. Take a look. Hi. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's an awkward pose. Where is she going? Bye. Your sister's going to be a Swan. Yeah. And so are you, Gina. What? You're going to be a Swan. <laughs> Does she know? No, it's a secret. Oh <laughs> no, it's a secret. Doesn't that sound like an overlaid voice? I don't know. That doesn't sound like she's actually there saying that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'm going to be a swan. Oh, she's happy. <laughs> I've been my sister's protector for a long time. I think it'll be nice to just have the chance for both of us to work on ourselves on our own. Yeah, okay. That's quite, yeah. Having big chest ruined a lot of things for me. You know, I was 12 years old getting hit on by 18-year-old guys. I was still a child. I wanted to be a child. After I quit gymnastics, I was about 14, I started gaining weight, and that changed everything. By the time I was in college, my sister and I were both struggling with our weight. We each weighed over 170 pounds. We could barely fit into triple D bras. Just to be able to go buy a button-up shirt, it's almost impossible, and it, it hurts. We've had a lot of hard times. I bury all my problems by keeping busy at my job. I don't have time to think about me or how I feel. I just keep moving. My goodness, isn't that a scarily relatable thing? I think so many of us actually like distract ourselves from our issues that we're going through or potentially deal trying to deal with them by literally being like, all I do is work. I work all the time. That's literally what I'm doing right now in my life. Maybe I should, um, maybe I should visit Dr. Yanni. Yeah. Right now, I'm wearing a 38 double D. What is that audio? It's not easy to find any bigger than that. The other thing that I'm really self-conscious about is my stomach. I wouldn't want to wear a bathing suit even if I could. It doesn't feel I've good. To... Oh, oh, I must say, that uh, that belly bar is looking like it's hanging on by a thread, my loves. <laughs> As Rowley would say, <sighs> I would probably take that out and have that redone. It doesn't look like it's going to keep for much longer. If I could. It doesn't feel good to feel disgusting. You disgusting. can't have a good relationship with someone until you feel good about yourself. I'm not even comfortable being intimate with my boyfriend, so. I'm hoping that through the SWAN program, I can fix just a few things that have really, really hurt me my whole life. Okay. And I'm just so thankful to have this opportunity. See, everything that she said there is not like, it's not, um, what's the word? It's not, it's not like, it's not over the top in any way, shape or form to want to actually like yourself. It's not unreachable. It's not this grand thing that's like, only the swan will help. Do you know what I mean? Self-love is almost a lifelong journey. I think that sometimes you can be in love with yourself and sometimes you can fall out of love with yourself. Sometimes it's like you've had an argument with yourself and you're just a bit like, oh, I don't really like this anymore. And then like two months later, you might be like, that was an interesting slump. We're out to dinner now. It's a lifelong process of learning to live with yourself and I feel like something like the swan is more predatory in its 
approach to the issues instead of actually trying to deal with the root cause, which, you know, sometimes there is plastic surgeries that can deal with root causes. It deals with a lot of the symptoms. It doesn't actually get rid of or address, even begin to address the initial issue. Dr. Dubrow, what's your plan for Gina? But at the same time, you can't self-love away large breasts, so I fully understand that. Well, as opposed to her sister, Gina has a lot of contour problems and loose skin in her abdomen. We're actually gonna do a tummy tuck and really tighten up that skin. Really? But she needs a breast reduction just like Why? her sister does. What makes it tricky here, and I'm sure you'll agree, Randall, is we reduce them to what level? Because if we reduce them to, say, a target size of a full C, and then they lose 30, 40 pounds, they're gonna end up a small B or an A. So I'm, I'm gonna under-reduce. On her face, it's really all about contouring and fat removal, just like with her sister. Do a brow lift, a buckle fat, cheek fat excision, liposuction, corner of the jaw, the chin. Are they gonna look like twins? What was that? Something on the jaw? Cheek fat excision, liposuction, corner of the jaw, the chin. Oh, liposuction on the corner of the jaw or chin. I thought he was saying that he was going to like contour her jaw. I was like, wow, we've never seen that before. So while I understand that Dr. Dubrow there has said like he needs to under-reduce so that uh, the extra weight loss can like reduce their size of their breasts that does feel a little bit of like a i don't know a questionable thing maybe this is quite normal with breast reductions because i've never had ones and i've never had a consultation for one so i don't quite know how they go but from an outsider perspective is it right to always assume that someone is going to be able to lose the excess weight to get down to the size they want to or should you just give them what they pay for in the first place i suppose that's a question definitely for a consultation and I guess that's why we have consultations to be honest to find out like where the surgeon and you meet in the middle so I'll be interested to see how that plays out. Are they gonna look like twins? We're not, I'm not doing <laughs> Gina's nose, Randall's doing her sister's nose. Yeah and Carrie will need a little bit more lip work. I already think that uh, Gina already has very very full lips. It'll be very interesting to see how this sister performs in the program because she's used to taking care of others and this is her turn to take the time for herself. What do you think Lynn? You think she'll be able to do it? I think this show is an appalling discussion Grace Nelly because unless you send both sisters to the pageant which I don't know they might do this is the swan after all they are going to they're going to send one of them and they're going to deem one of the sisters more beautiful than the other with a better transformation etc blah 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 and it's going to create a rift between them or potentially it could I would hope that it doesn't but that's what this show does. I'm concerned that neither of them have ever really felt like they've been on their own. And so one's used to being the parent, the other one's used to being the child. I think they need to do some healing and some differentiating. We've seen I Carrie's get plan. That vibe. Let's review Gina's plan. Gina's Hi. swan plan features several procedures, starting with her face. She'll have Puffing. a brow lift, liposuction to her cheeks and chin, and several photofacials to even out her skin tone. For Gina's body, lift. she'll have a breast reduction, tummy tuck, and liposuction in eight different areas. Oh, eight! At the dentist, oh, Gina no, eight different areas. Gosh, she's going to have a lot of recovery, a breast reduction, tummy tuck, and lipo in eight places at once. That just sounds like hell on earth to me. You would not, like, I have consulted for liposuction, and I feel like... Even one area of liposuction, like the healing that is needed for it and to make sure that actually like heals in the way that it's wanted to. It's it's so delicate. It's such a delicate procedure that like, oh, scary girls. How can you ensure that all of these surgeries are going to heal the way they should when you have so much work done in one? Like you're just going to be fully ban bandaged. How are you going to, how, how are they going to be able to fully heal properly if you're fully bandaged? Like... Are you putting 100% effort into everything? Or are you dividing that 100% effort in healing across multiple different injuries? Because that's how the body kind of works. Gina will receive Zoom bleaching, Da Vinci veneers, of course, and da Vinci. deep cleaning. For her fitness transformation, Gina will be put on a 1200 calorie a day diet and spend two hours a day at the gym, six days a week. Okay. Gina will undergo weekly therapy and coaching to help her tackle her insecurities and learn how to focus on herself. Okay, expert. Learn. Like learn. Learn how to focus on herself. How is she going to learn? What? Nelly's going to come in and be like, I think that you first go. Go start for me. Okay, expert. Sounds like a lot of work. So let's get started. This is a horrible okay. room they're in. Horrible. It's the first day of the three month oh, long nice. swan program. For yeah. the first time, we have oh, two we sisters Black and competing. White. Carrie has no mm. idea Gina is even here. Yes. Carrie right. is ready to regain her cheerleading figure. Dancers aren't built this way. It's something that you have, it's like being taken breath. away from you. Goodness and build her self-esteem. Who 
commissioned this like black and white work? Who commissioned this? Who who did all that? Was it necessary? You're really trying to lay on this like, oh, she's sad in this one. And in the mirror, her life is all colourful. Or it could be if she won the Swan Girls. Gina is hoping to finally Miles focus on away. herself. I've been my sister's protector for a long time. And learn to feel comfortable with her body. I'm wearing a 38 Same mirror shot. D. It's not easy to find any bigger than that. Every reflective surface has been treated. Ooh! Weird. No mirrors. Okay, we need to search your bags for uh, contraband items. Oh, for goodness sake. The routine security check reminds Carrie just how serious the no mirror rule is. I've got a mirror over here, so you can take this away from me. I forgot that was in there. As Gina enjoys a moment alone, Carrie realizes that for the first time, she is going through a major life experience without her sister. I just wanted to have a moment there and just be like, who were these men just like pilfering through their belongings? I do feel a bit like, I don't know, it just kind of makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. It's not the TSA. Like, this is just a TV show. Like, stop pilfering through all the things. Well, they found that small mirror, I suppose. But like, I'm gonna have to take that away from you. Well, I hope you put it in a box and I can keep it afterwards because those sorts of things are expensive, girls. Or so she thinks. Please promise that no matter how hard things get, you'll remember that I'm here praying for you. Oh. And I'll always be your biggest fan. You are the best sister a girl could ever have. It's hard okay, that she's not here swan with me. butt. Carrie well, and little, Gina are did, readied. little did she know she was across the road. Are you taking the pace? Carrie and Gina are ready to begin their transformations. Right. Your success in the program is dependent upon your total commitment. Ooh. There's no turning back. The program begins now. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. Ready, girls. Oh, where is this where they're staying? Gina's first step toward getting the body she wants is a visit to her plastic surgeon. Okay. Gina's a really cute girl, but oh, her body poses some challenges. You have a lot Shut of what up. we call contour irregularities of your stomach. We could do liposuction, okay? But I'm concerned you still have a lumpy tummy. The other approach is to make an incision down here and do a tummy tuck. That sounds perfect to me. Okay. What's the number one thing that bothers you about your body? The number one thing that bothers me is my breasts. Okay, what size are you right now? I'm a 38 double D. So probably what we should do is put you into the lower D range, knowing that when you lose the weight, that'll put you into the C range. I like that plan okay, a lot. Okay, I like that plan too. If she gets in shape and if she sticks to the plan, I think she'll be pageant ready and ready to win. When the thing with these kinds of operations is like, well, it goes back to what I said earlier. Do you want something that you know for sure is going to always be the size that you like? Or are you always going to be teetering on that edge of, if I lose a bit more weight, they'll be a bit smaller? Do you know what I mean? Because the swan is only like four months. Is that really like accounting for her life in five years time, in 10 years time? And that I find is the problem with this show. It provides like uh, instant fixes to potentially longer term problems. Hmm. My sister sees the new Gina. I think she'll be shocked and probably just as excited to see me and my changes as she is to see herself. Oh, the sister's surprise sweet. reunion is still months away. Mm. Now it's Carrie's turn to learn Ooh. what's in store for Lime. her physical transformation. Top. The size and shape of Carrie's breasts give her this top heavy appearance. It can we just have you look at this document folder really quick, not read anything and go, yep, that's it, knock, knock, hello, time for your brow lift. The size and shape of Carrie's breasts give her this top heavy appearance. It makes her look shorter and stockier. Your breast size is your most troubling. Yes. Thing. Do you have bad back pain? Do you and neck, neck too. pain, mm -hmm. shoulder pain? Yeah, and I get headaches. Okay. okay. Why don't I have you stand up and let's have a look at your breasts here. I'm gonna give you a breast, breast. reduction and that'll give you a lot of relief from the pain you're having. And so if we get to a mid C, that's gonna make you happy. So happy. C, mid C. She's on the verge of looking masculine, and I need to feminize her face. Look how full your face is here. It needs definition. Yeah. We have to get. How is this woman on the verge of looking masculine, Dr. Hayworth? What? Is this what masculinity looks like in 2004? Give your nose a waist and just make it delicate. Okay. Sounds good. Look forward to seeing you Thank soon. Thank you. Okay, bye. I'm a little nervous. more nervous than I thought I was going to be. Just do it. I don't want to know the details, but I'm so excited. It Harry is serious. Is ready to begin a challenging program. I think there is definitely something to remember that, like, when you have these ideas of your surgery at home, like, for example, when I go for FFS, I was, like, at home just like, oh, yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have FFS? Now I'm actually going through the process to have it done. I know for a fact I'm going to get, as soon as I step into that doctor's office and have my, like, pre-op consultation, I know that I'm going to be, like, a little bit nervous and a little bit anxious, and I know that the reality of the situation is going to set in. It's one of those things where you have to, like, remind yourself why you're doing something. Meanwhile, Gina faces her oh, here she is. the nutritionist. Oh, not a nutritionist. Scale. Lies. 
actually, this reminds me. So in the UK, in order to be like a professional nutritionist, you need to be a registered associate nutritionist, which actually the initials are A-N-U-T-R. A nutter, girls, you need to be a nutter. I don't think that this is the same in America and potentially it wasn't the same in the UK back in 2004. I am always dubious of someone that says they're a nutritionist that isn't registered because like, you, you aren't, are you? You're not. You're lying. No say. Stop trying to get me into a multi-level marketing scheme. Pyramids, go. 147.6. Why was that like, <laughs> boom? <laughs> and I'm only five foot four. <gasps> Tiny. What kind of lunch would you Although I'm only five six. French fries, cheeseburgers, and my biggest downfall is soda, real soda. I basically just live on fast food. Okay. I love it. Mm. You're a fast food I don't know how I'm going to live without it. <laughs> what you're going to need to do, Tina... All right, so without paying any attention to this, like, Nutrisystem woman on the go with that hateful... Look at the size of that collar. My goodness, she could take flight. One of the first things that you can do to have an impact on the way that your body looks and the way that your body feels is by cutting out junk food. I know that sounds really intense, but literally, buy a nice cookbook. Look at a couple of recipes you like on YouTube. For, for example, there are so many beautiful and incredible creative chefs here on YouTube. I've learned so many things from Sauce Stash. I've learned so many things from Emmy Made in Japan, from the Bosch Kitchen from Sorted Kitchen. Like, there are so many that you can look at to just be like, let's have a look at different meals. Now, I know back in the day, we didn't have access to social media and things like that, but cookbooks have been around forever, not just in health food shops. And I feel like deep down on some, like, cellular level, we know that fast food isn't good for us. It's it's like a pleasure centre here. Fast food gives us pleasure here and just problems everywhere else. <laughs> what you're going to need to do, Gina, is eat five smaller portions throughout the day. There's no soda. No. I don't think I can live without it. While Gina has her work cut out for her following the diet, Carrie is having some pre-dental jitters. I have a few concerns. Okay. Okay. About the veneers. Uh -huh. If one breaks, they're pretty indestructible. Even if I'm like... Lies! I want your gum tissue. That is it, she is a liar! Lying Annabelle! Liar, liar! Pantaloons in the bin, girls! You've got gout in the arga! Good heavens. That is not true. The idea, they're pretty indestructible. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Veneers are not indestructible. They're pretty indestructible. Even if I'm like a little clumsy and I fall down a lot. Do you fall down and hit your teeth? Well, no, but you know. I just mean, I'm a clumsy person. And I gotta think of all these possibilities. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think Carrie has- Don't laugh. Don't laugh at your patient when she's expressing serious concerns about a procedure that's like known to cause complications 10 years down the line. You need to get them replaced. You just can't have just like veneers. Like, you don't have one set of veneers for the rest of your life. That's not how it works. Horrible little girl. I don't think Carrie has anything to worry about. So we're going to go ahead and prepare her teeth for veneers. I think she has a lot to worry about actually. I'm sculpting your gums with a biolace oh. laser and they look beautiful. I can't imagine how gum sculpting feels. Like, imagine, like, trying to heal from gum sculpting. God, she really does want your gum tissue, doesn't she? The healing process must be, like, so... Has anyone here in the comments ever had gum recontouring? That sounds like it would be so... Like, the, the healing process would be so, like, painful. I'm really prone to mouth ulcers, and I feel like that would just be, like, one giant ulcer for me. Not having that. Not having that at all, girls. I'm out. Oh, I'm really talkative in today's episode, aren't I? We'll do a zoom bleach and get your teeth really white. Zoom. Was that it? Buzz, buzz. I've got one desire. So let's open up. Let's start the race and sparkle up this place. Buzz, buzz, bit. And now I'm preparing your teeth for the news. Everything went good. I've been thinking about the pageant the whole time and every day you want it a little bit more. Carrie's transformation is on track. Okay. Oh, here we go. The night before surgery for both sisters. Mm -hmm. Carrie is eager to share her excitement, but she doesn't realize her sister Gina has a big day ahead of her as well. Oh. Hello? Oh! Carrie, what's up? I have surgery tomorrow. I'm gonna be worried about you. <laughs> Don't be, I'm, I'm doing good. You're not nervous? Not yet. Once I know you're out and you're okay, then I'll feel better. I miss her very, very, very much. I that was an interesting thing there. So I'm guessing she obviously had a mobile phone back in 2004 because if she didn't, how would she like call her landline? Unless they like put into put in a number for her and said, Carrie will be at the end of this line, girls. How did that work? Okay. I do love seeing a sisterly bond though. It is so refreshing. Considering that all we've really seen so far on this show is them like trying to call a boyfriend and they're not answering, trying to call a husband and they're not answering, trying, trying to call their family and their child's just like, mommy, come home now. It's like, oh God. God, oh, it's so emotional. I miss her very, very, very much. I think Gina's more nervous about my surgery than I am. Hmm. 
probably just nervous in general. The day oh, a pillow. surgery has arrived for both of our sisters. Pillow. Gina's a cute girl, but with some body recontouring and a breast reduction, we can give her the body she's always wanted. Okay. Are you psyched for this? I'm so psyched. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like. Okay, good. As Gina okay. enters the OR, Carrie is ready to be prepped for her surgery. Oh! We're already a pretty girl, and all we need to do is to just enhance. I don't think. Wait! I'm gonna... Wasn't he saying like her face is so masculine? Blah blah blah. So is she a pretty girl or is she masculine? Because like to me, those things are very much interchangeable. But to these doctors, why? No, they're apparently not. Ridiculous. Miss this body at all? Wait, was he drawing in her hairline then? Enhance. Look! I don't think I'm... Look! Look! What we need to do is to just enhance. Drawing in the hairline, which means he's going to make an incision in the hairline. Something that, if someone told me they were making an incision that close to the front of my hairline, I would be like, mm, I don't think, actually. Maybe we don't need an endoscopic brow lift, and maybe a direct brow lift would be better. Really I mean, it's still your body. I feel like I'm on nip tuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, nip tuck, that's a throwback. <laughs> here we go. Uh, this <gasps> right section. I'm just here. Oh, hoovering the turkey again, girls. To refine what she has. Oh my goodness. Carrie's liposuction went very, very smoothly. We're gonna down. I don't. I have quite a strong stomach actually for watching surgeries, but for some reason, watching liposuction really makes me go like, I don't know. It makes me go all like heebie jeebies, girl, because it's just so like. It seems like such a violent activity. Like, it's so, like, jiggly and, like, like imagine just picking someone up and just, like, shaking them like this. That's the kind of, like, thing I get. I'm just a bit like, I don't want to, I don't want to see it now. Do the lower eye surgery. Lower eyes. Oh. I'm taking out the fat pad that hides underneath the cheekbone. Buckle fat removal. We're trying yeah. to go and bring some highlights to her face. Carrie's oh. surgery is Mac. running smoothly. Meanwhile, Gina's facial transformation gets underway. Okay, so I've said it before, but genuinely, this on this season, it's been so much less gory than it was in the first season. Like, I had to do so much blurring in the first season. On this one, I have had to do, like, practically hardly any. And that's such a weird feeling, because did the network step in and just go, like, please stop being so gory, you're frightening people away from getting more plastic surgery, girls? Like, is that what happened? Weird, weird concept. Okay, so we're going to take the fat from inside of Gina's cheeks and help define her cheeks a little bit more. To really take her to the next stage. God, they cut up all of that sentence, didn't they? Okay, guys, let's get the breast and the stomach done. All right, let's do it. Booby tummy. To really make her look great in a bikini and get her into the pageant, we need to touch up things and do some nice sculpturing on the sides. Do you know what? In this one, I can't possibly ever forget about the pageant because it's every other word in every other sentence. It's just like, oh, for the pageant, bikini breast reduction for the pageant, brow lift for the pageant, pageant, pageant. Whereas in the first season, I just kept forgetting that this was about a pageant. Be I think it might be because the contestants know about it this time that it's just so like a prevalent like storyline arc is the pageant girls. This is what's called a skin only tummy tuck because we're not tightening up the muscles at all. Oh. Well. Gina's surgery is over. Oh. We finished up in one stage. Oh. It'll be interesting to see how her surgery compares to Dr. Hayworth's surgery on her sister. I want to know about my sister. I'm more worried about her than me. She's my baby sister. Oh, Carrie, very sweet. Can you hear me? <coughs> Carrie? Oh, stop. Where's my hand? Hi, you're just waking up. Oh, Where's stop. No, stop. Carrie, can you hear me? Stop. Carrie had some trouble coming out of anesthesia, so until we do some further testing, I don't know if it's going to be possible to perform her breast reduction. Coming up on the... What did we just watch? What was that? That was scary. Absolutely terrifying. Obviously, it's fine, because, like, why would they be, like... Why would they have aired the episode? Do you know what I mean? Like, clearly, she was fine. But all oh, that's sc like, scary. Isn't it vulnerable? Because you're waking up from something that's so, like... Your consciousness goes somewhere. We don't know where it goes. It just goes away. But like waking up from that is really oh 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 oh. I'm so glad. Like why didn't that oh. complications go? Oh, it's the next day, girls. Dr. Is Hayward she fine? Pays Carrie a visit to discuss what went wrong. Okay. Carrie, how are you? Uh, great. How are you? God, big change from last night. I know. You had some trouble waking up last night. Right. What happened? You yeah. were like really sleepy, and then when you started to fall asleep, then your oxygen saturation would drop. I knew I had snoring problems, but that's all I knew. I think Carrie has a breathing disorder when she's asleep, so this could make putting her under anesthesia and performing her breast reduction too dangerous. I'm going to have you see one of her doctor specialists. Okay. 
Carrie's surgical plan is now on hold. Wow. So they actually ha so she has like a, an issue that potentially wasn't spoken about before this. See, that's something that's so like in consultations to go under anesthetic, like they should really ask those sorts of things. Like, have you ever snored? Do you snore? And then like you need to you need to provide extra information about why that might be scary. I think it's one of those things that people don't assume that like snoring can have a problem when it is that you're going into like anesthetic and things like that. Every you might think that like everyone snores and I guess everyone does. Like do you snore fully on your back like or are you like on your front like like do you know what I mean? Like all of these things do impact how your body behaves when it is under sedation. Meanwhile, right, Gina faces a difficult recovery of and her, her own. And her sister didn't know that. You're not feeling so well now. I don't know. Right. Where are you in pain mainly? My face hurts and then the incision on my tummy. Of course, it's a lot of this work. This will be worth it. This is a smoking tummy. <laughs> Hearing Dr. DeBro say that it looks great makes me feel really good. It makes me feel really confident. Don't rub it like Gina this. is feeling better about oh. her recovery. Well, that was easy. Meanwhile, Carrie begins her sleep testing, anxious oh. to learn if she will be cleared for surgery. I have to get this breast reduction. It's the one thing I've wanted my whole life. It's what I've wanted for 10 years. Carrie will be monitored overnight to determine if she has a breathing disorder. Having all this stuff hooked up. Well, they're really hitting that dustbin for effect, aren't they? Like, boom, boom, boom. She's getting a test at the sleeping centre, girls, in the bin. Gosh, the, the editing on this show never ceases to amaze me. Like, how could you make, like, finding out information about how you sleep, like, into the most dramatic thing ever? Hand it off to a reality TV producer. That's how. The breathing disorder. Her lips look incredible, Having all though. this stuff hooked up to me makes me really nervous, but I'm willing to do anything to get my breast reduction. After a fitful night, Carrie awaits the results of her testing. And? Oh. Hello? I've got your results from the sleep apnea happy. clinic. OK, and? You are cleared for surgery. Oh my god, thank you so much. But that's, that only applies to sleep apnea. Like, she, we, we all saw her struggle to wake up from surgery. So what does that mean? Does it mean there's potentially more investigation needed? Or are they just like, you're cleared, let's do it again! Even though it might not be sleep apnea that's causing this problem. What? Okay, this is a bit nefarious now. So we can go ahead and get your breast reduction tomorrow. Thank this you, feels, Dr. Hayworth. This feels a little like bit like sunk cost fallacy heard. or something. I can't wait to start my new life. Mm. Mm. Finally, <laughs> it's actually happening! Carrie is ready for her final surgery and I bet calls everyone, her mother to share the news. I bet everyone in this operating room is going to be like, oh my goodness, please don't have a complication waking up, please. All those assistants that were like, <gasps> trying to get her to grab her hand and stuff. My goodness, that is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I'm so excited. This is the big one. This is what you've been waiting for. Yep. So then someone will call me afterwards. Yes. Uh, make sure they know to call my cell phone. Even when I eat lunch or anything, I bring my cell phone with me. I know, Mom. Sometimes oh, I good. think that she doesn't think I can handle it because she has to be there to protect the baby. But hopefully this will show her that I can do it and maybe she'll look at me more like an adult. A little oxygen on you as you're starting to drift off. Okay, now I'm starting the final stage on Carrie, which is the bilateral breast reduction. This is an operation that's complicated because one false move and you can kill the nipple. Kill the nipple? I think they look very good. What a huge change for Carrie. That's perfect. You have beautiful breasts now. Nice. Oh, this is fun. I'm winning the pageant. <laughs> I'm taking it all and I'm bringing it home to my sis. Oh. Carrie's in good spirits, but the delay in she her surgery know. means she has a lot of catching up to do. Meanwhile, Gina is facing a challenge she never anticipated. What's this? I thought the program would be difficult, but there's so much more to keeping this secret. I had to tell Carrie that I was going to Mexico so she wouldn't ask me about my mom and how everything was going at home. Hello? I haven't talked to you in forever. I know, way too long. I know. How's it Are going? Are you feeling good? Yes, I'm feeling really good. Everything okay. okay? Mm-hmm. How was Mexico? It was so awesome. Ah! I don't want to tell you a lot about the trip either because I've got cool pictures. Yes. So fun. It's getting harder and harder every day. I'm even covering for... Sneaky espionage. Suddenly it's become the spy who went to Mexico on the swan girls. My dog, Roxy. Are you at home? Yeah. Is Roxy around? Yeah. Do I say hi to her? Yes. I don't know if she'll respond. Hold on. Okay. Who is Roxy? Okay, talk to her. Roxy! Oh my goodness. Roxy! Oh, this is horrible. Are you sleeping? 
No, she's not responding. Gina's struggle to keep the secret has distracted her. Oh! Gina and Cap- <laughs> okay, that's the one little sense of like moderate humour we've seen. So she's trying to talk to a, a Yorkshire Terrier, but the Yorkshire Terrier's like, no, because it's actually not really there, girls. Oh dear. Harry are one month away from their final reveal. Right, one and month, a girls. Surprise reunion. Carrie entered the programme hoping to regain her cheerleading figure. Her sure. dreams were almost cut short when she oh. had difficulty coming out of anesthesia. How yeah. terrifying is that? Carrie. Terrifying. Carrie completed her surgeries, but the delay has taken its toll. Technically, I'm two weeks behind. Will she be able to make up two for lost behind. time and get into pageant shape? Oh, yeah, just nod at her, yeah. Gina yeah, came it. determined to reshape her body. My stomach is just all bumpy. And concentrate on herself. Gina, where's your focus? <gasps> but was overly concerned with her sister. I'm more worried about her than me. <laughs> she faced her problems. You focus a lot of energy on others. But I'm here to really encourage you to stop doing that. But can she... F Why are you sitting on the nice comfy couch and she's like, on the naughty step? You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. Which sister will take off the weight and who will earn a spot in the pageant? Next. Right. Oh, are we here? Jeffree Star's house, although not anymore, is Welcome it, girls? Welcome back to the swan. Now, Ooh. it's been a month since we've seen the Bravata sisters and three months since She's they've seen themselves in a mirror. Bannister. Now, remember, neither Carrie nor Gina realise... I really like this dress. It's so pretty. I just wish it was like floor length and very impressive. It's just a bit like cocktail shimmies, which is fine, but a gown, please. ...is that they're competing against each other for a spot in the pageant. And Carrie doesn't so have many a clue that Gina hair. is part of the Swan programme. Okay. But before their big reveal, let's check in with the team of experts who yes, radically let's. transformed these women. Yes. Ah! Oh, what's that up there? They have changed it. Is that a set? Can you see up the top here? There's just like blue all the way along. Like it's just like one sheet of like, I don't know, backdrop. Carrie came to us encumbered by a large chest and a weight problem. Dr. Hayworth, she came across some complications in the early stages. How Who did she deal with that? We uncovered some potentially dangerous medical conditions during Carrie's first surgical stage. However, she handled them as an adult and emerged with a dazzling transformation. What did he just say? He just said we uncovered some medical concerns. But we weren't told what they were, were we? we? We we didn't see like, oh, she's gone off and had several different tests to get to the root of it. No, she went to a sleep clinic one night and then they were like, yes, she's fine, girls. At least that's what we were shown. It would be interesting to know if there was more than that or if there's more to this story than that or if that literally is just it. That is a weird little segment to put in there just to be like, almost like, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. She can have lots of surgery. It's fine. Do you know what I mean? Mm, nefarious girls. Nelly, how do you think she's going to react when she finds out that her big sister Gina is on the program? Well, you know, she's been obsessed with the fact that Gina didn't get to be on the show and she just is so upset she didn't even want us to mention her. So I can't imagine what's going to happen when she realizes she's been here all along. Oh, she's going to freak. It'll be a shocker. Everyone laughs. Well, we'll see how the younger Bravata sister turned out in just a moment. Here she is. Please welcome the brand new Carrie Bravata. All right, here we go. Open the door, manservant. Oh! She's a blonde woman on the go. Look, floor length. Yes. Oh, gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's such a nice underwear set as well. And they, the hair doesn't look oh hateful. Oh my lord, how are you doing? <sighs> incredible. Yeah, and you Nervous. look incredible. Come with me. Wow. Okay. Carrie, I honestly she, can say... Oh, she suits being a blonde. She absolutely suits being a blonde. I think being a blonde and having a little bit of like a tan skin really suits her very beautifully. And they haven't like done her dirty with this hair either. It's hair extensions, but they're blended really nicely and they're styled really well. There's still a lot of layers, but you know, it was a very of its time. I can't believe Dr. Hayworth called her masculine. That you look absolutely nothing like your former self. What have you done with the old Carrie? <laughs> she's out, she's gone. And you're very close to your family, I know that. How have you coped without them over all this time? What really helped is just looking forward and knowing that they were supporting me and that they were just as excited as I was. Okay. What do you think they're going to say when they see you? I don't My know. goodness, you're anything. blonde. They're going to cry. I okay. know it. I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Okay. Because behind that curtain, there's a mirror. You're shaking. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 
so excited and nervous and every emotion. Well, in just a moment, I'm gonna ask you to step up to the curtain. Then I'll ask you if you're ready. <laughs> okay. All right, here and we go. And when you say yes, we'll pull back the curtain, you'll be able to see yourself. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, Carrie, off you go. Good luck. <gasps> oh, Illuminati girls, Illuminati girls! Approach the mirror. The curtain budget on this show must have been in the millions. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Carrie. Right, this oh, is your oh. moment. Are you ready? Oh! Let's do it. Come on, Carrie girls. You can do this. Punch. Oh my god. Oh. That is such a good reaction. <laughs> I love it! I love it so much! <laughs> oh my god, is right! Keep looking! <laughs> What's going through your head right now? I can't believe how small this thing is! <laughs> What about oh. your sister Gina at home? I mean, when you get home to her, what's she gonna think? What about Gina, girls? I, she's not gonna believe it. Mm. This is her dream to see me like glamorous. You have yourself to thank for that, Carrie. You really do. And all these people. Exactly, <laughs> and all these people. So come on in, guys. I was really happy with Carrie's results. She represented one of those quiet but really dramatic transformations. When Carrie walked out, I thought, who is that supermodel? She just looked magnificent. So wow. I'm quite speechless about that. Oh! The swan! I didn't know that the... Look, if you look here, I didn't know that this foyer is like white marble. Did you know that it was white? Never, I'd never thought that it was white. Isn't that weird? Never. But let's talk about Carrie's reveal. So in stark contrast to a lot of the reveals that we have seen, I got such overwhelmingly positive results from that. Yes, she was stunned, but it was stunned in a way that's like, almost, you know, like when you get like a, if you really like surprises and someone has surprised you for a birthday party and you get that kind of like overwhelm of like, <gasps> but then like you're smiling and you're like, I can't believe it, it's me. Like that kind of feeling. I did not in any way, shape or form, get like a negative vibe from this at all. If anything, I think that she really seemed to enjoy the process of the transformation. And can I just say, like, she really suits being blonde. Not everyone does, but I think that it just really worked for her. And I feel like that long blonde really added to the transformation. If you go to from a medium brown hair tone to like a level eight slash nine warm blonde, like that's so much more of a dramatic makeover than getting a brow lift. Do you know what I mean? Okay, let's see her sister. All right, here we go. Jeffrey's town. Although it's Britney Spears' house now, isn't it? She bought it. We just saw oh. Carrie's big reveal. Runway Little girls. Did she know that her competition tonight Little is her know. big sister, Gina? Right, here we go. Experts. Now, Gina came to us with a, a caretaker personality. She never really seemed to find time for her own needs. Dr. Yanni, how did therapy help her gain a perspective oh. on her new life? Gina made a dramatic transformation throughout Did she? the process. We didn't of see it once. She learned how to take care of herself to the extent that she was able to take care of others for the very first time in her life. And Nelly, how, how did she cope hiding that big secret from her sister? It was very difficult because she's so close to her, but I think in the program she really embraced taking care of herself for once in her life. Well, we're going to get a look at her transformation in just a few moments, but first, let's take a look back at the woman who secretly joined the SWAN program three months ago. I find it really, really weird. Like, just, I'm just thinking about it there. Just all those people standing in that hallway, just like standing next to each other, having to like shoot lots of lines and stand there more and shoot this line over here, stand again. Like, just a really weird concept, isn't it? Like, because usually panels of experts are like sitting down behind panels. It's really strange to just see them all collected in, a, in like a foyer. Just had a moment of clarity there. How weird was that? Okay, well, it's time. Right. Here she is, the brand new Gina Bravata. Come on, Gina girls. Man servants open the door. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is some like James Bond villainess hair, isn't it? That, look at that fringe. That's not wispy, that's heavy. Oh my lord. How are you? Good. Oh, 
you. I'm great. Come with me. Let's get a chat. Is that a wine-coloured dress, Bergen? You, know, you, you look black. like a completely different person. I feel like a completely <laughs> different person. She looks very... Talk to me. Tell me about... This styling reminds me a little bit of, like, Real Housewives of Boopity Boo. Do you know what I mean? The last three months. What has been the biggest thing that you've learned? Just that I matter, that I need to actually put as much time into caring about myself as I do about everybody else. And that's quite a nice how thing to take away. How difficult was it to keep a secret from Carrie? I don't know how you did it. <laughs> well, Keeping she was sequestered. It was very difficult to have phone conversations with her and write letters to her. It was nerve-wracking, uh -huh. but it was exciting. Well, it's been okay. three months since you've seen yourself in America. Oh, right, here we go. Are you dying to see yourself tonight? Don't say I dying. I'm, I'm very excited and a little bit nervous, if I'm going to be honest. Well, yes, of course. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. I mean, it's been a long time. Well, Gina, see that curtain over there? There's a mirror behind Look at it. those curls. The She's been at the Dyson. Can you step up to the curtain for me? All right, come on. Oh, we've started. This music isn't right. No, they just repeated it. Oh, Illuminati, it's throwing me off, girls. Illuminati. Oh, from the back. Okay, Gina, Little bit of... this is it. Are you ready? Right. Come on, Gina girls. Well, I like her false lashes. That's, that's, they're quite nice. <gasps> oh my God. No way, it's not me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh. It's impossible. It can't be me. It can't be me. Oh. God, thank you. Thank you, everybody, so much. It's very, very possible. <laughs> Look at yourself. Tell me what it is about you that shocks you so much. I'm little. I know. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever be little. <sighs> what about Carrie? Do you think she'll recognize her big sister? No. <laughs> oh, we've got die? the reveal, haven't we? I forgot. <laughs> Gina, what's your favorite part of your transformation? I think my chest. It was oh. the source of a lot of pain for a long time, and now I like what I see. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys here want to congratulate you too. Well done. Thank you. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw Gina's figure. From where she was to where she is now, it's outstanding. I thought it's quite the transformation. She looks like the beautiful girl next door. Natural, beautiful, fantastic. But don't put them against each other. Don't make it a competition. Oh, we're going out the chimney, girls. Britney Spears. I just want to say there, actually, just after these two reveals that we have seen, these two reveals are almost like the best possible scenario that a reveal could happen. The second sister's reveal kind of was a little bit like, oh, when she's like, it's not me. I don't, it's impossible. It's not me. There's a little bit of like telling that sentence of like, is, could this potentially be a problem? But overwhelmingly positive responses from both of the contestants, which really go very deep against what we've seen previously for some contestants. Some contestants have been like, they've left me feeling horrible after after watching their reveals because you can see this thing that it's like, the, 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 the swan isn't the answer. And it's like, oh, scary. It's a bit scary, but I'm so glad that, that those two positive outcomes there really make me feel like this show isn't quite so bad after all in terms of the transformation aspect. It's the competition that's always been the issue for me. Right, here we go, oh, somber music. Welcome back to The Swan. Now, right. it's been a night of dramatic reveals, but there's still more drama to come. We're about to find out which You're of the Bravada me. sisters, our judges in consultation with our experts, have chosen to go to the pageant. Now, I before that happens, be. Carrie will finally discover that unbeknownst to her, big sister Gina has been part of The Swan programme all along. I bet when this aired back in the day, people were losing their minds watching this live. I bet they were like, I can't wait for the reveal. It's a scandal, girls. I bet people were just creaming, girls. I'm going to cream. Now joining us once again is Carrie Bravata. Okay, come on, Carrie, girl. Gentlemen. Oh, I'm all like bothered. This is, what's that? It's leaves. Oh, very beautiful. Blonde. Just... Hey, Carrie, how you doing? Great. Welcome yeah. back. Thank you. Oh. It's been...
three long months, Carrie, over the Swan program. I bet you're really anxious to find out whether or not you've been selected for the Swan pageant. I hate right? that this isn't done with men. Okay, well, men, the wait is nearly over. Well. Okay. okay, it's time to meet your competition. Has Amanda had a haircut since the intro? <laughs> Oh gosh, here Gentlemen. we go. Does she know? Oh gosh. Oh my god. Ah! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna you? cry! You're so busy. Oh my you goodness. You didn't tell me you were here. Oh my god, I see oh. you. Turn around. <laughs> I'm gonna fall right now. Okay, girls, I'll come stop. on back to me here. Right oh I'm not surprised. God. Okay, stand beside each other for me. Obviously, now you know the big secret has been that Gina's been with us the whole time. The whole time? The whole time? <laughs> Do you have any idea how difficult it was for her to keep the secret from you? And I can usually read you so well. I kept saying, like, she can read my mind. She's going to know. No idea. I can't believe you kept this from me. <laughs> yeah, shocking it's turn great. of events, girl. Isn't it? However... I just need to sort my eyes out. <laughs> oh, that one got me that did. I don't think I've cried yet on this one, but here we are. Okay, let's continue, shall we? <laughs> Gina, you had no idea that you were going to be competing against Carrie for a no. place in the Swan pageant. <sighs> Don't make them compete. How does that feel? It's Rubbish. hard. It's hard Rubbish. because everybody else, I think, has that, like, want to knock out their competition. And in mm -hmm. this case, it's a whole different scenario. Now it's on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's I'm always on. Kidding, huh? But, God, yeah, it's but hard. there's it's... nobody I would rather well, and, lose and who And who can lose? Look at, look at us. I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good way to look at I'm it. So a very good way. so happy for both of you. But... It is time. Now, as you both know, individually, you've made the most incredible transformations, and you must be proud of each other and yourselves. Yes. <laughs> but not according to our judges. But, like I say, only one of you can move on to the pageant. I'll make it a double. a chance to be crowned the swan. Make it a double. Go on. Go on. Treat yourself. Make okay, it a double. You've been evaluated on beauty, on poise, and, of course, overall transformation. Oh, come on, girls. This envelope contains the name of the Bravata sister who will move on to the pageant. <laughs> The pageant! Best of luck to both of you. Oh, good luck. Love you. Me too. The name of the sister that moves on to the pageant is... Carrie. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. Been my driving force this whole time. I really thought for a when second Carrie there. When through those doors, she really made me proud. She had come such a oh. long way from where she first started. Oh, shut up. Mm -hmm. You better be right there in the front row. Of course. Goodness. To see both of them reunited as women who have grown, it was a once in a lifetime experience. Congratulations to you both because you both look incredible. You know that, right? Here tonight to congratulate both of you ladies. Oh! Let's stand over here. Wait! Oh! Gentlemen. In a shocking twist of events. Open the tarot card doors. Oh, is it all ever read with one? Oh, oh mummy god. girls! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, I'm just flabbergasted. I just can't believe how what a wonderful job everybody's done and how hard they worked and how tiny they are. Oh my <laughs> oh my how god. bonkers. Oh Absolutely Hi. bonkers. <laughs> Oh, look at it. They looked phenomenal. I mean, it was beyond oh, wow. anything I ever expected. His voice is very like movie trailer in a world where the swan becomes a swan. I came here with the idea of the pageant in mind, and it was a very big dream for me. But getting to at least still go and support her in it will be really exciting. Wow, well, that has certainly mean. been one of our most emotional shows ever. We will You're see Carrie the pageant, and next week the transformations continue as two more women compete for a chance to be crowned the Swan. What? Well, my loves, I'm going to push my laptop away and take my ohinger out here and just think, like, 
Wow, I feel so emotionally drained after that episode. Okay, this episode had lots of interesting points that I still feel are quite like important to talk about. So, breast reduction sizes. Is it always better to do a smaller reduction with the idea that potentially your client is going to lose extra weight and do the rest of the work or not? unsure about that let me know what you guys think about that in the comments box below because i don't know some people might look at that as like you're not delivering on your promise of what i've paid you for and other people might be like that's a really great idea and it will inspire me secondly the idea of this like shocking twist of events a sister lies a sister becomes a swan the other sister also becomes a swan they reunite in floods of tears which was true as i mentioned earlier i just couldn't imagine this show getting any more like bonkers than it already did but that was wild what a wild experience that was and the fact that they were like are you gonna make them look identical i am glad that they didn't try and make them look identical because the i that that i don't know that that feels i don't know if that would sit right with me but my goodness those reveals i felt so positive about those reveals and like like almost like a like a tension that we were kind of like expecting to happen because whenever i watch one of these shows i always expect kind of expect the worst. I always sort of think, oh, is this going to be like a moment that's going to be more shocking than the last? Because, you know, you just don't trust TV production from early 2000s. But those reactions and those reveals were some of the nicest ones that we have seen. And I'm, I'm, I'm fully shocked about that, to be honest, in a completely different kettle of babies. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we have seen today in today's episode, because Carrie and Gina, it was shocking, girls. What an episode. That's all I can say, my loves. And you know what? It's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen here, my loves. Yes, you can. And I want to say a brand new hello and welcome to Zahira Pera, Vic Susie, Alicia Acevedo, Noah Seidman, Jem with a C, Amelia B, Dead Mortician, and Tromo, my loves. Thank you so much for joining the Patreons, you absolute stunners. And I want to say a happy birthday as well to Dead Mortician for January 31st. And I believe, I believe that is today. <laughs> happy birthday, my love. I hope you have a fabulous day. And today's Twitch shout out goes to Onyx Nightwolf. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It's Luxaria Plays. I stream two nights a week, Monday and Thursday, my loves. See you over there. We've just started the new Pokemon Arceus legends. Very good. And once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Stephanie Niatupski, Laura Ali, Dr. Dreamarella, Steph Utek, Orko Samoji, Abigail Ash, Amanda Vengeance, Autumn Holly, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dana Broderick, Deborah Gwynn, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Jared Pavlovsky, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Lane Wade, Megan Holly, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Moldy Apple, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Pink Caramel, Princess Lilium, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Succubus Lena, Summer Neff, Travaful, Victoria Carella, Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave it on the note of when you go for consultations for plastic surgery and things such as and the like, make sure that you get every single thing that you want out of that consultation. And if you are unsure about what questions to ask your surgeon, check out things like subreddit, the surgery subreddit. Also check on Facebook and Instagram for other people's advice. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes.